To all you single guys out there, you ever get that, that need and that feeling to ever want to fuck your cousin? I mean, Thanksgiving time, you guys are having turkey, you're having some sweet potatoes, you're having a good time. And she goes into the oven and she's checking on the turkey and she bends over and it's like, mmm, mmm, yeah, mmm, mmm. I'm gonna bite that ass. I'm gonna, oh, ah. No? Well, I haven't either. Too sweet! What's up, all you cousin and non cousin fuckers out there? TLC, the learning channel. We're here to learn things. But is this subject matter something we really need to learn about? Well, I know. I'm ready to have some knowledge dropped on me. So let's get into the video. <laughs> Alright, I'd first like to point out, they're in a trailer park. Joe, not all people from trailer park are trash. Listen, I know. But, if anybody's gonna marry their cousin, I mean, the first place I'd probably look is a trailer park. Romnichelle Gypsy Annie is crazy about her first cousin, Josh. That's my honey. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, right? But, do you see this girl? If I had never seen this video, and a sketch artist came to me and said, Mr. Gigotti, we need someone... Mr. Gigotti, we're doing a sketch of someone who's marrying their cousin. But I don't know anybody that's marrying their cousin. That's alright, we just need a description. Just close your eyes and imagine. What would a cousin fucker look like? Uh, I guess I'd start out by saying that they live in a trailer park. Oh, and they have to look like they've never been to a dentist a day in their life. And kind of like my eyes, you have to have one eye facing this way and one eye facing that way. Wait a minute, am I a cousin fucker? No, I actually brush my teeth. We love each other. And the feeling's mutual. We just clicked. And it's never a dull moment at all. We both have the same grandfather. If you love somebody, you can't help the way you feel. Of course you guys have the same grandfather. And if you love someone, you can't help the way you feel. I love my cousin, but not in a sexual way. And I like the 2003 MMA style shirt that he's wearing. Some kind of like affliction type shirt. Whoa. He said, I was that's probably what drew her to him. It's like, yeah, he's such a badass. He likes MMA. He's got better earrings than I do. It didn't matter to her and it didn't matter to me. I can't help the fact that I love her. Sandra Charlie. Hey, this is Annie. I was calling to see about getting a wedding dress made. Annie calls the queen of gypsy dressmaking, Boston-based Sandra Celli. Oh, you're marrying your first cousin? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Oh, this is such a gypsy wedding. I just picture this big winter wonderland theme in my head. Great. I'll be named Silver White Crystal. And how about a muff? Would you use a muff? Would you use a muff? I think she's hitting on her. I know you're marrying your first cousin and all, but, uh, would you use a muff? W would, would you use a muff? You want a muff? You want a muff? How about a muff? This dress is amazing. If she doesn't pass out over this dress, I quit, I quit, I quit, I quit. Ready? Oh my god! Oh my god! I like the look on this woman's face. She's like, are they seriously making me work on this bitch's dress? Annie's dream dress is encrusted with 80,000 rhinestones. Oh my god! And trimmed with 22 fox skins. And trimmed with 22 fox skins. Did she just say fuck skins? I heard fuck skins. And trimmed with 22 fox skins. 22 fox skins. It was definitely fuck skins. I want to know how she's able to afford some Ric Flair wedding dress when she lives in a trailer home. <laughs> You'd think she'd move into somewhere where you just can't pick up your house and drive off to wherever you want. But then again, I guess that's what gypsies do. Oh my God, I really, really Rumney dress I've ever clapped my ass on in history. <laughs> All right, I don't want to go back to making fun of her looks. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that she herself looks to be the result of some insensual sex between her mother and father. I'm just saying. Look at all these runs. Now Sandra will brighten the mood even more. All right, kill the lights. Oh, oh my God. gosh. Look at oh her dress. How did you do that? Well, we needed an electrician for this. Yes, there are no when more you batteries. Did, I think you could get any better, better y'all. I thought, what if it's too much over the top? Nothing's too over the top if you're a Ron Michelle. She thought, what if this is too over the top? You got fucking Christmas lights 
in the dress. I wonder if it's too much over the top. There's no such thing as over the top in a rum de shod. Bitch, she's marrying her fucking first cousin. How much more over the top can you get? Because we're the older ones and we know that back when we were growing up in my parents' day, it was horse and buggies and tents. They would make these tents all up with the lights and this reception room. It just takes me back. Where do you where do you get a where do you get a plastic horse? And you know somebody at this wedding party is looking at their horse going, Yeah, I could use some of that horse cock right now. Because if you're fucking your cousin, you're probably fucking the farm animals. I'm just saying. It just takes me back, you know, back to my past with my parents and my grandparents. I think mom just admitted that it's been insensual for generations. I think my mother is very touched and proud. It's important to me, being a Romney mother, that Annie gets married to Josh. If I die, I would be leaving this world with peace. Yeah, that's the look of a face of a mother who's really proud right now. It gives me joy to pronounce that you are now husband and wife. Yeah. <laughs> no! No, 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 no! No! No. Kissing your first cousin. I'm kissing your first cousin! No! And all this means now is that you have to consummate the marriage. You know they haven't fucked yet because they're people of God, right? They're gypsies. They're gypsies. They, they believe in the Lord. There's no sex before marriage, all right? This is why they got married because they want to fuck. They just want to have carnal sex. He wants his penis in her vagina. He wants her meth teeth all over his cock. Oh my God, I don't even want to know where the honeymoon's going to be. It's probably going to be at Walmart. Honey, we're going to Walmart. We're going to have ourselves a shopping spree. Woohoo! That means we're going to get two ply. Honey, I'm going to go all out because you're my bride, all right? We're getting three ply. Three ply? Oh my God, I didn't know they had three ply. Honey, for you, anything's possible. Love when the lights turned on on my dress, Josh's ass got real big and he smacked up and he was like, What? Your dress lights up. What more does the dress do? It's already rummy padded enough. Now you don't put lights on it. Jesus Christ. Josh's eyes lit up and his mouth dropped because he's missing a chromosome. Yeah. I'm a very happy mother tonight. Very proud mother tonight. It's been a fantastic day, and Josh's mom is more than happy it's a family affair. The Learning Channel. So what have we learned here? The Learning Channel. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, even share it to your friends. That'd be pretty nice. And if you want to see more from this mug right here, go ahead and two sweet that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next time at the Gypsy Wedding when I myself marry my cousin.